this is Jordan from Dark Victory, and this is going to be a tour of our current offerings for shields. This is, um, what, September of 2010, and this is what we're currently making for shields. We have a small class of shields that we sell. Um, this is what we're calling our small teardrop. Um, all the small shields are mounted with this little leather strap on the back, and this makes for a nice, agile, little, quick-moving shield. This is something that we're calling a modified heater. It has these neat little scoops that we came up with in order to kind of catch rapier blades. It makes for more of a catching surface, better for, for parries. And a um, small heater, again, leather handle. Um, this might be what you'd call a hybrid shield because it could kind of cross over between rapier fighting and heavy lifts. Um, I think with heavy lifts, though, we might consider wanting a larger hand strap because this one is great on a, you know, a lightly gloved hand, but if you'd have anything more than that, then I think you'd probably need to have a larger strap, maybe even a handle. Heavy lift shield. Um, this is what we call a teardrop. Um, you'll notice on the, 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 this shield, this is a 30 inch high shield. And this is pretty much the limitation based on the material that we're using, the barrels that we're, we're cutting these from. 30 inches is as high as it goes. Um, so, um, we, we also have another version that kind of swells out a little bit more, give a little bit more protection towards the tail end. <clears throat> Originally done um, as a police shield for some uh, productions and airsoft, um, it has this little window in it. So this could be a police shield. We have mounted rigid handles here and an arm strap there just for making it a good, a good strong shield. Also could be um, like a small Roman scutum. And actually, uh, this shield illustrates pretty well the natural curve that's built in based upon the barrel. The barrel has a curve, the shield has a curve. However, this good thing also is a bit of a limitation because as we go wider, the wider we go, the more the curve, the more it wraps around you. So that kind of restricts how wide we can make them. You'll have it wrapping around your body. Um, this is a heater, um, again, with uh, authentic Penzig dust on it. Um, uh, this is a regular heater. You might think of this as a um, the either active or passive defense. Active being reaching out and touching someone, and passive being close in. So um, this could kind of serve either way. But for the most part, we think of our shields as more active defense because they're so light. Um, there's no reason why you can't reach out and stop the blows from coming in. And this is a fancy full shield, not really a combat shield, maybe a LARP shield. Um, it was done for the web series um, The Legend of Neil um, by Comedy Central. Yeah. And um, they chose not to have the eye cutouts, but we have a couple of different versions with eye cutouts. Um, and th this is the one that we originally did for them, but they didn't, they didn't want that because of lighting considerations. But it's a fun, neat shield, and uh, we have a Halloween version as well, which makes it look kind of jack o lantern y. So that's the. It is very cool. Um, okay, so let's also talk about um, the reasons for mounting a center vault. Sir. Um, this is a round. This is one of our round blocks. You can actually take a look at this. This is a little bit warped y from, because it's uh, just the bottom of a barrel. This is a simple round shield, and it's incredibly, incredibly strong and incredibly indestructible. One of the things we do on the rounds is that we leave a flange of plastic around the edge. Um, I think this may allow it to not even require edging, because if you hit this with a rattan stick, the rattan stick's not going to get beaten up. And for that, it's just a really nice, easy, built-in feature, and it doesn't add any weight. And it's really cool. Um, we're talking about bosses, though. Um, in bosses, you have to consider what, where you're going to mount your handle. So, if you were to want to keep your hand in the center of mass of a shield, so that when you're moving it, you move the entire shield, rather than if you were on the outside of the center of mass, it rotates whenever you try to move your, your hand, you need to use something called a boss. This is a balder boss. The balder boss allows you to move your hand into that center of mass. Mount it on the outside of the shield like this. Now this is just a little hack job that I've done of popping this thing in, so it's not a very wonderful round hole, but um, you mount the boss on the outside just like that, and when you mount the handle on the inside like this, and you'd, you'd sandwich the shield between the boss and the handle. 
and that way you can keep your hand as close to the center pass as possible. And by the way, these bosses can be mounted either, these uh, handles can be mounted either that way on top of it or even rotated so that your hand is even closer to the center That's pass. That's even cooler. It's even cooler and even works better. So this is a basic tour of our shields. Um, we're going to be doing a design session this fall involving the kids, letting them be the designers, and we will be the hands that put all of those things into work. So when we do the kid day, I'm sure that we're going to come up with some really interesting things, and I'll shoot some video on it, and you guys can check it out. Um, also, all of the dimensions on these shields I'm going to be putting in the comments section, so um, that way you'll get a very clear indication of exactly what size each shield is. This is Jordan from Dark Victory. Fight hard.